freshly washed and conditioned. It's um, kind of detangled. This is like me combing from the root out. Okay, it's very detangled. I was going to blow dry, but I'm trying my best to avoid putting heat in my hair. And besides, a lot of the natural styles that I wear, um, when by the time my hair dry, it's like perfect. So, I do a lot of wet care with my hair. So, stay tuned you guys. This is going to be a voiceover video because I suck at paying attention to the camera. Okay, you guys. So, right here, I'm basically trying to create like an ear to ear part. It's really difficult to do because I have so much hair and I can barely see the camera. So, be patient with me. So, after like a few minutes of me doing that, I literally give up and I'm just like, yeah, I can't part my hair ear to ear without like this other way that I used to do it. So I used to part down the middle and then I would carry the part from the end of the middle part to one ear and then carry it to the other ear. And bam bam, that's how you get a perfect triangle part popping off. Now that you've achieved the two buns in the front with your triangle parts on each side, you want to go ahead and secure the back of your hair, detangle it a little, get that thing managed. I gotta give me a hair tie, got a hair tie, and you bruh look at this part oh my goodness you guys i literally cannot take myself seriously a lot of the time all right you guys i had to change views because i really need the mirror so excuse my room it gets crazy all right so now that we made the two separate buns gonna go ahead and part those in half and then separate them and make it into four buns while you're doing this you're gonna have to use a little bit of hair product well for me just to get the little flyaways out the way I have a full hairline but my baby hair is out of control sometimes I have like cowlick like a fucking newborn I don't get it anyway clean up those parts get it cute All right, please understand. I am aware that these parts are not perfect, but I am trying so hard to get this video out. This is gonna work. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna saturate my hair in this coconut oil because of course, you know, I started doing it while I was wet and it eventually got dry. So that's what I use to moisturize my hair. And then I'm just going to make sure I cover it root to end, end to root. Y'all, talk about shrinkage, right? I know everybody can understand the hassles of shrinkage. Can y'all see like how glistening my hair is? I just want to elaborate on how much coconut oil I put in my hair. Like I probably use one of those jars probably about two weeks. Get that edge control worked on them edges, pulling baby hairs out, and basically do one single plait braid. Going down. This should be really easy for a lot of us to do because we all been watching YouTube for years, so we at least know how to do a plait braid. Do y'all see how much oil is on my shirt? I mean, this is insane. My hair literally must have been dripping. Okay, now we're gonna pull that strand to the back and use it to connect into that other plait and make another plaited braid 
but you're connecting the front braid to the back braid. And remember you guys, this is a no rubber band method. This is for those times where you really got to use what you got to look how you want, okay? I always secure the back of my hair after I braid it down with the ponytail in the back. Just wrap it around. For this next braid, I'm going to start a big braid right here in the front. Get my edges together. Make sure it's all neat, cute, but y'all know how I do. Okay. Braid it down. We're going to do a simple little plait again. And then you're going to pull that braid up into the back braid or the black, the back plait and add some product to keep it all neat looking and braid those together into a single plait. So now you created a crisscross effect with no rubber bands. Okay, for this one, we're not connecting this plait to anything. You're just gonna put some product on it and braid that baby all the way on down. And now, when you're done braiding it down, you're gonna pull the braid under the crisscross braid so it creates kind of like a little classy dangle effect this part of the video is in super fast motion because I'm just doing what I did to the other side of my head to this side of my head so boom, gonna be done with this in like five four three two one level up level up level up level up <laughs> All right, same process. Gonna connect that braid to the back braid. Make another braid to go down in the front, creating a little dangly effect. Okay, y'all, I was killing myself with the poor lighting over there. I could not see what I was doing. So I had to move to the other side of my room once again so I can get that good lamp lighting. Don't worry, you guys, we are going to grow. We're gonna get all kind of YouTuber equipment popping off soon. So to finalize the hairdo, you want to take those ends, brush all your hair up into a top bun, and just secure all the ends of the braids around it. Alright you guys, now that the video is finished, this is the final hairdo. And I want to be real honest with you guys, I hate this hairstyle. Um, it's not originally what I was going to do, and somewhere along the way, I lost my way, and I just kind of like winged it. I like what I did, it's really cute, but because I don't have any like, um, hair gems or clips or beads or anything to decorate it, I feel like it looks really, really boring. So, I'm going to go tomorrow and I'll buy like some extra hair clippies and stuff. If you guys have me on Snapchat, if you don't, follow me. My Snapchat is call her underscore champ. Call is spelled with a K. Um, yeah, you know, just follow me. Stay up to date with me. Things are going to get like so much better than this. This is my first video. I was so nervous to put it out. I'm, I've been making content all year and just scrapping it because... I'm not satisfied with what I feel like it should be. I feel like every time I create something, it's missing something, all this and all that. And I just decided to just do it, you know, record myself doing my hair and put it out there for you guys. I know there's a lot of girls out there with like medium to long hair that are natural and don't want to use heat and don't want to use rubber bands. And don't want to feel obligated to fit into this little tiny Instagram lace wig box. Even though I love lace wigs. <laughs> but, um, I feel like I should just get the content out there. You know, introduce myself to you guys and just start the journey off. 